We still have a long way to go, so you'll need to hang in there for a while longer. This is not a good place to rest anyway. Huh? Okay. But don't you feel hot too, Sino? Of course. But I'm accustomed to these conditions. Care to share any tips? Paimon's about to melt away. Just try to stay focused. Use your willpower to support your mind. The moment you start to give in is when you'll feel more tired. Take one step after another. Don't let your mind perceive your body's limitations. We must get somewhere safe before we can relax. Uh, okay, if you say so. But where would be a more safe place to rest? Paimon thinks this is a perfectly safe place to stop. Just look around, it's just sand and desert. There aren't any monsters for miles around. Whoa! Where did these scorpions come from? Watch out. Something's not right about them. Those weren't just normal scorpions. See? There are marked numbers on their pincers. They were... Someone doesn't want us to show up at the auction. These scorpions were sent to keep us away. We are surrounded by desert as far as the eye can see. If we were killed out here, nobody would ever know. This place is super dangerous. Good thing we didn't let our guard down. Something's not right. There are no roads in the desert, so how could they know where we are? Stay still. Here's the answer. They must have planted this on you. Huh? What is it? A miniature tracking device made by the Kasharwar. They can use this to discern your approximate location. But this device wasn't licensed for mass production. Where did they get it? Could someone from the Kasharwar also be involved? Hmm. But that doesn't seem right. Whoa! Paimon never knew that kind of thing even existed! Why would it be on her? They probably planted it on the Traveler during our fight with the mercenaries earlier. It was a frantic fight. It's only natural you didn't notice the device. Well, good thing you were able to find it, Sino. Now let's get rid of it. Hmm. No. Hold on to it for now. It might still be useful for us. Let's keep heading to the auction. It would be dangerous to linger here any longer. Weird. Is this where the auction is? Yeah. Not a single soul. Maybe they're on break right now or something. We didn't waste any time getting here after we defeated those mercenaries. They shouldn't have been able to give any warning of our arrival. But even so, they still knew we were coming. Someone here must have been watching the tracker and warned everyone to clear out. Aw, what should we do now? We searched the area. They couldn't have moved all the knowledge capsules so quickly. There might still be something left for us to find. All right, let's take a good look around the area.
Did you find anything? No, nothing in particular. It's possible there weren't many knowledge capsules containing info about the Court of Desolation, so they carried those off. But don't worry, I have another idea. You two start heading back the way we came. I will remain hidden here. Come back and meet me here after some time has passed. I'm sure something will come up by then. They packed up in a hurry and didn't have time to carry off all their goods. They won't just leave them here. Once they think we've left the premises, they'll be back to pick up their belongings. We just need to make sure the tracker goes far enough from here to make them assume that it's safe to come back. Oh, Paimon gets it! We'll lure them out because they'll think we've left! Okay, we'll start heading away and leave this place to you. Yes, and don't worry. If they dare to return, I'll make sure they stay. didn't act immediately when he showed up. Rather, I'd laid low and observed for a while instead. He is not the primary instigator, but he is most likely one of the more important dealers here. Am I right? Yes, impressive. You certainly live up to your reputation, Sino. If I had any idea you were still around, I wouldn't have gotten so greedy. By that. Once everyone knew you were coming, all the canned knowledge dealers abandoned their goods and fled at once. Obviously, there wasn't time to pack up everything. Since all the goods were just left here unsupervised, I thought I'd use the opportunity to come back and take what I could. You know, free merchandise is good business, but... <sighs> I suppose there's no use explaining it now. You must know who's manufacturing and selling the canned knowledge, correct? Will you tell us willingly, or do I need to make you talk? No, no, I'll talk. But before that, perhaps we can take the conversation elsewhere? If we stay here, chances are that someone will see me with you. That would put both me and my family in danger. All right. Where do you suggest we go? How about my home in Aru Village? It should be safe there. Fine. Let's head out. You can throw away the tracker now, Traveler. Dad! You're back! Oh, we have guests? Uh, hi there. This is my daughter, Seemin. She can be a little shy of strangers. Why don't you run along now, dear? Dad needs to talk with our guests. Oh, okay. Everyone knows Sino in our business, but let me ask, who are you two? Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! To be honest, I really didn't expect to see Sino, the lone operator, working with any partners. When I saw the tracker start moving away, I assumed you had decided to just go back empty-handed. But even though you caught me, I'd still urge you to stop while you still can. You should abandon this investigation. Why is that? Everything from the manufacturing of canned knowledge to the sales and even splitting the profits. Every step of the process involves dozens, if not hundreds of people. Massive profits have brought everyone together in this business. Everyone will try their best to defend this industry that we've worked to build. It will be a long and difficult fight, even for you, Sino. 
And even if you manage to win in the end, no one will thank you. If anything, you yourself might even feel remorse. Why are you so bent on putting us out of business? Everyone has their own reasons for what they do. I don't have to explain mine. <sighs> Here's some tea, Dad. And for the guests, too. Uh, right. I forgot to offer tea to our guests. <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. And, uh, I should tell you that our tea tastes kind of bitter, but I put some sugar in to make it a little tastier. That's my girl. Do we still have any sugar left? If not, I'll buy some more next time. Yes, we do. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go have a rest now. Didn't you say that everyone's in it for the massive profits? That sure doesn't seem to be the case for you. <clears throat> Actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I... was hoping to ask you for a favor. My daughter was born with a chronic disease, so she has a relatively weak heart and lungs. Even slightly strenuous exercise can cause her to faint and prove to be a life-threatening risk. That's why she never really had any friends to play with, and why she locks herself up in her room most of the time. She has to take lots of medicine, and it doesn't come cheap. As for me, I was just an average merchant, I would wake up early and travel all around to make a profit. But the Mora was still nowhere near enough. I could only watch my daughter's health deteriorate day by day. Until one day, someone reached out and showed me a way to really make a profit. Selling canned knowledge. That's right. With all the Mora I made, I could finally afford medical treatment for my daughter. Nothing made me happier than seeing her get better. There are many others like me. Smuggling canned knowledge might seem like an unforgivable crime to you, but to us, it's a means of survival. I wanted to tell you all this so that maybe you could understand and change your mind. Please, stay out of this, Sino. Give us a way to survive. Oh no. That means that if we prevent the sale of canned knowledge, his daughter will... <laughs> I must get to the truth. I can find someone to help treat your child, but I cannot turn a blind eye to the smuggling. These are two completely different issues. <sighs> I somehow knew you would say that, but having your word to help my daughter is enough for me. Since you insist on continuing the investigation, you should have a look around the back of my home. You'll find some goods I received just recently. I think everything will become clear to you once you see them. Whoa! Look at all of this! Yes. All neatly packed away and organized in boxes. To think that this is only one dealer's worth. Small producers could impossibly support such a large quantity of goods. Hmm. Could the Academia have a hand in this? But such a volume of goods wouldn't be able to slip through inspection. Huh? Look! These seem different from the other knowledge capsules we've seen. Maybe they contain knowledge about the Court of Desolation! Yes, that would make sense. Wait, what's this? Yes. It's a Matra seal. Indicating that the goods have passed Matra inspection. I started to suspect that someone in the Academia might be involved when I found the tracker earlier. But how they could ship so much canned knowledge out of the Academia was still a mystery. The pieces have now all fallen into place. With this Matra seal, goods can leave the Academia without undergoing a second inspection. <laughs> No wonder they don't want me to investigate. It turns out that Amatra is behind this. 
Even I find it hard to believe. Could I ask you for a favor, Traveler? Since all this canned knowledge came from the Academia, then it's highly likely that the knowledge regarding the Court of Desolation originated from research files stored within the Academia. If we can enter the repository, we can find out who accessed these files. But, considering my current status, if I suddenly show up at the Academia now, it will only draw unnecessary attention. You'll need to be the one who checks the records. I'll write a letter to Nabil, and he'll take you there. Sure thing! Leave it to us! I'll also keep working here in the meantime. Although our leads are all currently pointing to someone within the Academia, it's obvious that they also have power outside of it. We can get more information on other dealers from Bahari. I'll stay here and make some preparations. You can come find me any time if you uncover more info. Hello, we meet again. Have you managed to find Sino? If so, how's he doing? I read the letter and must admit that I hadn't expected things to be so serious. Sorry. Had I known it would be so dangerous, I never would have gotten you two involved. It's alright. We wanted to help Sino too. <laughs> I can tell that he really trusts you. The research files stored away in the restricted repository are far from ordinary. Everything there is essentially about dangerous research that's forbidden by the Academia. Even I don't usually have authorization to enter, but with this letter from Sino, it shouldn't be a problem. That's right. Granted, the Academia is very supportive when it comes to research. They encourage scholars to conduct all kinds of studies. However, some forms of research have proven to be so dangerous that the Matra have to step in and put a stop to them. Normally, after some particular research becomes prohibited, the majority of the related files will be destroyed. But some information may be retained as a record to warn later researchers. Such information is kept in the restricted repository, which is heavily guarded. Follow me, I'll show you. Hopefully, we'll find the answers that Sino is looking for. The restricted repository? Uh, sounds kinda dangerous. We'd better keep an eye out. Okay, I understand. Since Sino is vouching for you, I suppose we can trust you. You may browse the information regarding the Court of Desolation. Ask me if you have any questions. But I'd suggest avoiding any other research files. Sometimes the less you know, the better. Huh. So this is the restricted repository. I never thought I'd see the inside of it. This is a first for both you and me. There are many who do not openly converse with others within the Academia. But even so, there are very few who I feel could be trusted with a real secret. Sino happens to be one of them. Even though he's no longer in the Academia, I still trust him. And that goes for anyone he trusts as well. The files are over there. Just make it quick. His former partner. That would be Taj Radkani. But you're not far off. Mortada Radkani was Taj's only son. What? 
Akash's son went to prison for researching the Court of Desolation? Why do you sound so surprised? You're a Matra, aren't you? It's just that they arrested him in secret, so it was never publicly known. All I knew was that Taj's son was taken to prison. It's not just me. I, I bet even Sino didn't know about it. No. Unfortunately, there isn't. He took his own life not long after he went to prison. You've heard about Taj, right? I know Nabil has. Every Matra knows him. I would say he's probably pushing 50 this year, which makes him one of the most experienced Matra. He is a man of integrity and honesty, and has made countless achievements. His reputation goes back a long way now. He used to be Sino's only partner. Taj is also skilled with a polearm, so the two of them used to practice together when they weren't out on a mission. Ah, right. I heard Sino mention that before. But one day, Taj suddenly decided to retire from active duty and transfer to an administrative position. I wonder if it had anything to do with the Mortada incident. Taj was already very well known by the time Mortada was born. So when Mortada came to study at the Academia, everyone had high expectations of him. He had to face a lot of pressure. Then he had an unpleasant dispute with his father, but they were eventually able to work things out. Not long after they had reconciled, Mortada was caught studying the Court of Desolation, which is in violation of Academia rules. Taj arrested his son and put him behind bars. He begged for leniency, but Taj wouldn't agree. Shortly after, Mortada slit his own throat with the pieces of a broken bowl. By the time Taj arrived at the scene, it was already too late. He never had a last chance to see his son. Since then, Taj has been periodically coming to the repository. He'll hold the files from his son's research with a remorseful look on his face. I guess that's why he chose to move to administrative work. I had no idea that happened. That must be really hard for Taj. I've never heard him mention that to anyone. Oh, that's awful. Paimon feels terrible now. Are you okay, Traveler? Wait, don't tell me you're starting to suspect Taj now. Impossible. Taj would never do that. I mean, yes, he does have a big reputation and has access to such research, but this is Taj we're talking about. He would never do anything against regulations. Never. But if you claim that the canned knowledge was originating from the Academia, then Taj is indeed a suspect because he was the only one who could have recently gone through research files about the Court of Desolation. There are so many files about those ruins that it would be difficult to restart any research, since the seven original researchers were put behind bars. It's hard enough just trying to make sense of these files. However, if the files were made into canned knowledge, they could be understood immediately. By doing so, one could restart the research outside the Academia without anyone ever noticing. But even so... According to the legends, the treasures inside the Court of Desolation could allow someone to see beyond life and death. Or even bring the dead back to life, right? So maybe Taj is trying to bring Mortada back. Though I don't really believe Taj would ever try to do something like that. I'm just telling you what I know. It's the job of the Matra to find the truth and track down criminals. Do you have any questions? If not, it'd be best if you would leave now. Kinda of confused. What should we do from here? Oh, now that I think about it, Sino suspected that the canned knowledge was coming from within the academia, right? There's no way so many boxes could ever get through without drawing any attention. Maybe we could try asking people around the gate of the academia and see what we can find. Don't worry, Tosh. I won't let your reputation be tarnished. Alrighty then, let's go ask around. <laughs>